So input is pull the cover and then push into. Look at step one. What is happening? We have not changed the position of pull and the right as it is. Then has come here and is as it is. Cover has come here and push and into are as it is. So basically, if you observe from input to step one, what is the change? Uh, do you see? You see that the words cover and then have been interchanged. And in these kind of questions where there is no definite output, numbering is very, very important. Usually, most of the times, the uh, process is followed based on the positions. So you can say that in step one, we have interchanged the third and the fifth positions. See, there are seven positions here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Right? Seven, seven words. So seven positions, I can say. Out of these seven positions, the third and the fifth one have been interchanged. Cover and then have been interchanged. So see, pull the... Then and cover have been interchanged and everything else is as it is. Pull the and push into, right? Pull the and push into. So just note that, that one and uh, three and five are getting interchanged. Three and five are getting interchanged. Three and five are getting interchanged. This is step one. Now look at step two. So step one is understood. Look at step two. What happened in step two? In step two, there are like many changes. Then the pull. So it looks like then and pull have been interchanged. Then and has been completely moved here into has come here push has come here cover has come here okay and has gone there so what i see in step two upon close observation is that the the step one has been divided into two parts first three words last four words if you look at it the first three words have been reversed pull the then has become then the pull and the last four words have also been reversed and cover push into have also been put in the reverse format now so into push cover and are you able to follow i think that's the logic we can we can confirm it once we move forward and see in the other steps but that's what is happening in step two in my view right we have divided the step one into two parts first three words and last four words the first three words have been reversed right pull the then becomes then the pull and the last four words have also been reversed and cover push into has become into push cover and look at step three now what happens in step three in step three i think uh, into has come here from this position pull has come here like this then we have the then we have then so it's like the sequence has been reversed into pull the then into pull the then look at the remaining words and has come here cover as it is push has come here huh. so what we have done in the step three is we have you know taken the previous step into two parts again this time first four and last three see earlier it was first three and last four now it is first four and last three and again they have been reversed so then the pull into has become into pull the then and uh, push cover and has become and cover push that's what has happened in step three and look at step four what happens in step four into as it is pull as it is and has come here then is as it is the has come here cover and push as it is yes we are done so what happened in step three again third and fifth positions have been interchanged i mean if you look at step four how do we get step four by interchanging the third and fifth positions in step three you see the and and the third and the fifth positions have been interchanged the and 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 so on which means see there are three steps basically these three steps repeats you know at regular intervals infinitely you are able to follow in step one three and five are interchanged third and fifth positions in step two if i have to understand in a simple format i can say that the word is divided into you know like first uh, first uh, uh, three and last four and these are reversed this is step two in step three, what do we do? We do first four and last three. And these are again reversed. And then again, this process continues. Here, I'll say three and five are interchange. That's it. This is what the machine does. So you give anything to this machine, any input, it will first interchange three and five, third and fifth positions. Then in the next step, it will divide the input i mean whatever input is given into first three words and last four words and it will reverse the sequence of first three and last four then in the next step again it will take the first four words and last three words and again reverse the sequence and continues and that process continues that is it so you have to do the same thing for the given input right what will be step one in step one 
we'll have to reverse interchange the swap the third and the fifth things so try your u until best get goal right what do we do best and u best and u have been interchange have been interchange step one is done now look at step two what do we do in step two first three and last four so first three here and last four here so first three have to be reversed so try your u becomes u your try and this becomes goal get best until step two is also done look at step three now what happens in step three we have discussed that it is first four and last three so first four and last three so now basically first four and last three have to be reversed so first four goal try your you and last three last three have to be reversed it becomes until best get right and then step uh, four again will be what the process repeats now so in step four again we'll interchange third and the fifth one so goal as it is try as it is you are in until we get swapped so until you as it is you are comes here best and get that's the process now there can be five questions asked here right like for the given input what will be position number four in step three so what is the position number four in step three from the left hand one two three four it is you likewise four five questions will be asked you just have to you know look at the steps that you have written and answer now let me give you a smart method of answering this question so far what we have discussed is the process this is the process whenever you have a so on type of question first understand what changes are being done and then apply the same process to the given input to answer the questions but is this the best way to solve it no please do not do this in the exam please do not do this in the exam let me explain you a smart way of answering the question if you remember the explanation i had told you that in these questions in these questions the numbering is very important what we would do is instead of playing with words which words are swapped and blah blah you just play with numbers you know that there are seven words so let's put seven numbers one two three four five six seven you get it these seven numbers are nothing but seven words i mean first word second word third word and so on now what happens in step one what happens in step one what do we know in step one three and five have to be interchange so just put one two five four three six seven what happens in step two in step two what happens again see i am explaining this smart method assuming that there are five questions if there is only one or two questions then this may become a lengthy process right but usually there are five questions as along with it what happens in step two the first three and last four have to be reversed so one two five becomes five two one and four three six seven becomes seven six three four then step three what happens in step three first four and last three so five two one seven becomes seven one two five six three becomes six three four becomes four three six what happens in step four now see step four is nothing but step one again whatever we did in step one what did we do in step one third and uh, fifth positions were interchanged remember don't get confused again don't interchange this third and fifth are you able to follow don't interchange this third and fifth third position and fifth position now what is there in third position two what is there in fourth or uh, fifth position four so these two and four have to be interchanged so seven one as it is two four will become four two and others are as it is then step five this is very quick you just have to you know play with numbers seven one four becomes four one seven five two three six becomes six three two five then step six what happens in step six in step six four one seven six becomes six seven one four three two five becomes five two three and step seven what happens in step seven again the third cycle first cycle second cycle and now the third cycle in third cycle what do we do six seven as it is one four five will become five four one two three as it is and so on now what is the advantage here what do you have to do is how many such steps will you write is a question see playing with numbers is very very easy once you have understood the process playing with these numbers is very very easy okay it would take about i know you might be wondering that this is like time consuming but i'll tell you the real advantage now 
so you have to let's say write nine steps or seven steps or eight steps okay write it down it may take let's say one to one and a half minutes right after this answering the questions is very easy right see remember this one is not one this one is the first word what is the first word try for me one is equal to try two is equal to your look at the given input right or instead of writing the words here let us assume i mean let, let us directly keep the numbering there right this is one two three four five six seven now suppose the question asked along with this is what will be coming in the third position from the right end in step six what will come in the third position from the right end in step six what is step six this one third position from the right end what is third position from the right end one two three what is this five what is five equal to you your answer is you see writing down all those words and swapping them and doing all that will take a lot of time but once you write down some six seven steps or nine ten steps very easy you're able to follow suppose the question says how many words are there between until and get in step four how many words are there between until and get in step four now what is until equal to four what is get equal to six so basically we have to find out how many words are there between four and six in step four now come to step four how many are there between four and six four is here six is here how many are there in between three so your answer is three right similarly one sequence might be given to you right like for example he may say for example he may say until best you are get you goal try this is which number which step so what you do is whatever is given until best which you are whatever is given right until is four best is three uh, u is five uh, get is let's say six then try is one you are is two goal is seven so four three five six one two seven check where is this four three five six one two seven I mean, you're able to follow. I mean, I have given some random thing. That is the reason it is not matching. Probably it will match in the first nine steps or twelve steps. Let's say. So it it becomes really very simple to answer the questions. I mean, it would have been great if uh, Priya had given us the questions here, but she has only given the input. So I am explaining you the process. But you can understand what I am saying, right? So just play with this. Now another question may be: How is how should we decide how many steps have to be written? Should we stop at seven? Should we stop at eight? or you may ask me why did you stop at step step number 7 because there was no step uh, no space for me to write step 8 otherwise i would have probably written one more step now some of you may say that why why didn't you write step 8 there was one more line which could have come here right no i wanted to put this dots dot dots to explain that it is a so on process you getting it i mean jokes apart but the point is there is no end to this after writing 15 steps also you may find that what is this again the i mean it's a waste of time but one thing that you can do is before answering the questions or before even doing all this process look at the questions quickly the five questions quickly and try and see which is that step maximum step highest step that is talking about like like for example in question number 1 maybe it is about step 4 in question 2 it is about step 7 in question 3 it is about step 2 in question number 4 it is about step 5 and question number 5 uh, it is about step 9 so in all these questions maximum the highest step that you are saying is step 9 so do it up to step 9 and you are done you do it up to step 9 and you are done because you know that maximum step 9 is going to come in your uh, five questions asked suppose in the five questions you find that maximum it is step 6 only so stop at step 6 stop here don't even write step 7 it's a waste of time because anyway we are not going to go beyond step 6 so this this you know number process is very very helpful in such type of questions are able to follow it's very very helpful in such type, such, such type of questions one more point that i would like to mention before we you know move to the next question right one point that i would like to mention is sometimes it so happens that the process you know that is like a uh, infinite process i mean it goes on and on but in some cases you may find that the same sequence the input 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 comes at maybe step number 6 or step number 5 or step number 8 you getting it it depends on how you are interchanging maybe even in this case we have written only up to step 6 but when you write 7 8 9 10 12 12 maybe step number 12 or maybe step number 17 or maybe step number 21 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 7 you able to follow it may so happen that after some time after some number of steps when i say some time after a few steps 
वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन कम्स बैक यू कैन डेफिनेटली स्टॉप देर लाइक फॉर एग्जाम्पल लेट से गेट टू नो दैट स्टेप नंबर नाइन इज वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन so which means after nine steps the whole process repeats again you are able to follow if nine step comes back as 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 what did you get you have got back the input that's what i'm trying to tell you that in some cases the input may come again in one of the steps the moment input comes you must stop there you must understand that after this the whole cycle the whole cycle of cycles is going to repeat right for example assume for example i'll write this in some other color so that you don't take it serious i mean don't take it for this particular case for example let us assume step number 12 is 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 what do you know step 12 is equal to input that's it which means step 11 is the last step last step meaning after step 11 the whole set of 11 steps have to be repeated again step 12 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 is as good as input done So in eleven steps, you will get the same input back. After every set of eleven steps, you will get the input back. So suppose the question is about fifteenth step. You know that fifteenth step is equal to the fourth step. Yes or no? Because fifteen minus eleven is four. So I can say step fifteen is as good as step four. Suppose the question is about nineteenth step. Nineteen minus eleven is how much? Eight. So eight step is equal to the nineteen step. So suppose even if the question is about nineteen step, don't worry that who's going to write up to nineteen step. You don't have to. You know that nineteen step is same as eight step. You would have anyway done up to eight step. From that you copy because whatever has happened in step number eight would happen in step number nineteen. Whatever has happened in step number four is definitely going to repeat in step number fifteen. If 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 step twelve is one two three four five six seven. Again, don't take it for granted. I'm just giving you an example. that is the reason i used a different color so that you don't merge these two concepts so in some cases you may find even that happening so it's very very easy to work that way okay so just play with numbers now after explaining all this let me also tell you that such questions are usually not asked in bank exams all right now all of you might be wondering then why did we discuss this because you never know The most certain thing about bank exams is uncertainty. Tomorrow, if they ask this type of question, you must be prepared. Anyway, and all of you are coming back and telling me that exams are getting difficult by the day. Every time they are asking new types of questions, so you never know. Maybe this year, I mean, it's not that they have never asked. I think in very rare cases, uh, I had seen such questions in bank exams. I I don't recall actually. This is this is actually called a batch process. This this you know. Uh, let me let me give you the name i mean this is input output it looks like input output but this like a batch process the question can be made interesting by saying by saying that there is one classroom where there is a batch i mean some story will be given around it the whole process is this only whatever we have done here is this is called a batch process so one batch is given that output is this then the same output of this batch is given to the other batch and so on so some drama will be created around that but don't panic this is what you have to do all right